Hello, dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I was rewriting a blog on the cherubim and seraphim today, and for some reason I'm reminded of this beautiful cloud. It just, it strikes me. It's like the, the plane of forces that helps to create this reality here of third and fourth dimensions. Absolutely incredible energy here. Look, it almost looks like like a, a sprite dancing or, or an archangel triumphing over evil. So, pursuant to that cloud that looks like the cherubim, the seraphim, the powers and potentates, the virtues, the dominions, the thrones, the archangels, it looks like all of those wonderful um, creative forces that work with God to create this cosmos through the plane of forces. And along those lines, I'd just like to, to mention that, um, you know, some people feel that, that the way to get ahead, the way to, to grasp power in the world is to use uh, black magic or sorcery or to work with the demon realm and uh, somehow escape unscathed with your own, like, power pack <laughs> of, of demon power, you know, and get, get out of that before the demons actually grab you and carry you, to, carry you down to the hell worlds, which are the astral planes negative of Earth, actually the Earth field negative. Uh, but, but the power okay, that the demon world has, has to do with human personality and human ego when it is not aligned with God, okay? That's why Dual Kul's great invocation has such power in the world today. Um, Dual Kul's prayer is about aligning our own petty minds and hearts and wills with the great mad, majestic heart, mind and heart and will of God, okay? And, and what that does is we can once set our intention to align with the Creator's will. The Creator is in charge of everything. All the demon world does is it just takes one aspect of Lord Shiva, the destructive aspect, and applies that to, to the human soul. It, if we follow the demon world, what happens is our soul devolves instead of evolving. So we have a choice to make. We can choose what small power we can borrow from the demon realm to conquer other personalities and egos of, of human beings who are our fellow soul travelers on earth. And, and in so doing, consign ourselves to to the hell worlds after passing on. Or else, we can choose to align with God and we can choose to call forth the power of the cherubim and the seraphim, the angels and archangels, and all of those. Call forth that through the plane of forces of this creation here of this solar system, especially here, and that will subdue every malevolent force on earth. Every ego will be transformed by that power to the grace of the divine. Every situation will be changed. Every timeline in which an ego or personality of a human being allows through free will for this to happen will be optimized by this, you see. So we have these choices. If we want power in the world today, true power, we must align with the mind and heart and will of God. Okay? I'm just explaining because people People get into the Shiva thing and they forget that Lord Shiva is really, really about the dissolution of the illusion of Maya so that can spring forth the very next creation of Maya, you see. Lord Shiva is not about the urge to kill. No. Lord Shiva is about breaking down illusion, becoming more aware, and becoming... Um, 
to becoming enlightened, you know. That's what Lord Shiva really is, to let go all the filters of the mental mind and to embrace the, the grace of God, the, the synchronous reality, the non-causal reality, you see, to take up our true power as human souls.